Hey everyone, Tim here again, and today I've got another quick and easy tutorial for you. I'd like to teach you how to tie a Chris Reeve style snake knot lanyard. So, first of all, this isn't to be confused with the noose knot lanyard that you see on most sabenzas. This is the snake knot, which usually has a bead or spacer on it of some sort. And you'll find a lot of these uh, with certain online knife dealers and whatnot. You can buy them to put on your sabenza. But uh, today, this is a way to tie your own snake knot lanyard. All right, so let's get to the how-to. Okay, so to start out, you'll need about two feet of paracord, uh, whichever color you want your lanyard to be. I'm using black. And uh, because, because I don't have any titanium spacers kicking around the house, I'm just going to use a steel nut as the bead. And I've actually polished this nut just to make it look, look a bit more fancier. All right, so put this away for now. We don't need that. So first step, take your paracord, feed it through the lanyard hole. You want to get about, you know, 50-50 on each side. Okay, now put the strands downward facing towards you. So first, take the left strand, make a loop over the right and behind, like this. All right, then next, take the other strand on the right, take it on the right, and you want to pass it underneath here, pass it underneath and put it through this hole here, okay, like that, and then from there, you want to start to pull them down back towards you. You'll start to get this sort of, almost looks like a bow tie, like this, right? And from there, you want to start to cinch it to the top here. And make sure you keep these two strands crossed. See how they cross over? Keep them like that. So I'm just going to turn it sideways to make it easier to cinch. So I'm turning it sideways. So now, I'm just going to start to cinch my knot up to the top. All right. I think I want it about, let's say, right here. And then you start to tighten it. So get it to where you want, and then try to pull it as tight as you can. All right. And tying that first knot, is that's pretty much it. You're just going to do the same thing over and over again until you have your lanyard, lanyard as long as you want it. Okay, so let's just do it one more time. I've got a clamp here just holding my knife still. Okay, again, same thing. So left strand over the right. Behind, like this. And then take the right strand go underneath the left and then put again put it through this hole here so again keeping them crossed you can get that sort of bow tie shape then again you're just going to cinch it to the top i'm just going to turn it sideways again cuz it's easier okay cinch 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 almost there All right, now we have two. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more, and then I'm gonna put the quote unquote spacer on. Okay, so I'm just cinching up my, my third knot. Okay, now we are ready for our bead or spacer, or whatever you have. In my case, I'm using the steel nut. Okay. Let's just get that on there. One, two. Okay. So we're gonna push this all the way up here. Okay, now I'm just gonna do two more knots and then we'll be done. So again, same thing. Behind. Bring this under. 
through here, bow tie, and cinch. Alright, I got my last knot cinched up. Now all that's left is to finish it off by trimming the excess and melting it. Okay, so I'm going to cut it on an angle because I just think it looks a lot nicer that way. Let's cut it about here. The second one. About here. Okay, so we've got that cut, now I'm going to melt it. Alright, so there it is guys, all done, the final product, Chris Reeve style snake knot lanyard with a bead. I think it puts a really nice touch on this uh, modded Sandra Mew 710 of mine, I think it looks very nice. Not too shabby, huh? How do you like them apples? So, let me know what you guys think. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.